In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make accessories on Roblox. The only thing you're gonna need is Roblox Studio, which I'm gonna go ahead and assume you have that already. And the other one you're gonna need is you're gonna need to go to blender.org and you're gonna need to go to the download and just download this real quick. From there, we can go into a base plate. And what we're gonna do when we go into this base plate is what you wanna do is go to avatar, click on rig builder, and then click block avatar. So from here, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna grab this character you want to go to this position and make sure it's zero comma zero comma zero put it in the dead center of the entire game go to your explore file right click on character port selection and then you can just put it wherever you want to put it so for me i'm just going to put it in my downloads folder so this is where blender is going to come into play and so when you load into blender it should look a little bit of something like this so you can press a x then left click to delete it all then you go file import wavefront obj then you go to wherever you put it so for me it would be under my downloads and then from here what you can do is you can press z material preview and this will look really weird but if you just click on this with left click go down to this little sphere material properties scroll down to where it's the alpha blend and change that to opaque then all of a sudden you're good so from here what we're going to do is we need to make an actual accessory of course so we can go add mesh cylinder and instead of 32 vertices we're going to do 16 s z that will scale it on the z axis and press g z pull it up scale down a little bit now what we're going to do here is we're going to make a fedora out of this mesh oh sorry uh, I forgot to turn this on the bottom left, but from now on, if you need to know what I'm doing, I don't say it out loud. It should show it right here. So we're going to click on this face thing if it's not already selected. Click on the face. Press S. Shift Z. Scale in a little bit. Too much. And then we're going to grab this bottom piece. E. S. And then scale it out a bit. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to go Alt. Click along these lines, S, Shift, Z, and scale it in a little bit. Hit the trust process a little bit on this one. Alt, click on this, G, Z, pull it down a little bit, and then click face again, grab this, we're gonna pull this in a little bit, and then we're gonna eat extrude it, and we're gonna go up a little bit, pull it in, I to inset. Go in a little bit, G, Z to pull down, and scale it in a little bit more. Now we're going to swap back over to Edge. Alt on that, Control B to bevel it. And now what we can do is we can grab this edge, pull it down a little bit. Now we're getting, now we're getting the form. Alt on this, Control B. And we're going to grab this, double tap G. And we're gonna slide this up a little bit. And then what we're gonna do now is since we have this little piece right here, we can press Alt, click on this, E, left click, S, Shift Z, and now it's gonna pull this out a little bit. So now, to make it form more along the lines of an actual hat, S, X, put it in a little bit. And then we can just look at it, make sure it all looks half decent. Okay, we can add more bevels in. Alt click on this. Control B. Alt on this. G. I make this look more like a hat. So we're gonna inset this piece as well. G Z up. Inset this as well, just a little bit. And then we're gonna go E. Pull up. Don't want to pull up too far and get into the actual mesh. So we're just going to do it like this. And do. We're going to grab these faces and pull them down. And form a hat better. Scale down a little bit. Pull up. Grab these edges. Pull up. Grab this. We're going to grab this on the same side, S, Y, and then 
We can bevel that. Bounce ball up once just to get the extra bevel in. Right click, shade smooth, go down to the what are these called? Go to the object properties. Go to normals. Auto smooth on. Instead of 30, you want to do 45. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alt on this. S Shift Z pull in. And the same thing up here. Shift Z pull in. And let's go up here. Go to the top right and click on statistics. That's 3200 triangles. So now we can just go around, look at it for a second. So we're not missing anything. Now we can bevel this to make it look a little bit smooth. One bevel, mouse pull down to the only one bevel. G pull up. Now we can scale it. Control Z. Pull down. Okay, up a little bit and now we have a hat okay so now what we can do is we can click on this globe in the bottom right new image texture and I'm gonna put a link in the description for this but it's gonna be a grid texture that we're gonna use to actually color the hat we're gonna open it downloads go to grid and now you want to press click on this press tab a go to Y U project from view click a on this and uv editing drag it over towards this gray tab right here scale it down just a little bit go over here z material output and then we can press s and y to stretch it up and down and now we have it on a gradient texture so from here what we can do is we can play with the color of this little belt loop thing i don't know what you honestly call it but now we can just see what colors look best with it. Try purple. It's okay. Oh. Grab it, move it over. Okay, I like the brown, I like the brown. Make it a little bit darker. Hmm. I like that. Looks nice. There's a little bit of saturation on the bottom and we should be good. Okay, yeah. I like that. And now what we can do is we can just add in one more bevel for good measures. And bevel this corner piece. Grab that G, Z to pull down. And then we can scale it out a little bit. Grab this. And then bevel that. And keep it like this and now what you want to do is you want to go file export obj you want to go to wherever you're going to put it and make sure this right here is selected selection only and then name whatever you want to name it so for me i would name it uh Dora brown and we have to go back over to roblox studio finally so when, what you're going to want to do when you get into studio now is control i mesh now that you have this mesh part, you want to click on this mesh part, go over here where it says mesh ID, and then go and open the mesh that you had. Oh, do you want to move your location? Sure. So if we move it right here, we can take this character, 0, 0, 0, and now we can grab this hat, and if you go File, Publish to Roblox As, Create new game, we'll call it Hat Place. Create. You can grab this hat, go to Texture ID, Add Image, choose File, and go and add in that grid image from earlier. And boom. So what we can do now that we got the grid on this is we can click on this, go to Plugins, and then I'll put the link in the description for this, but it's an accessory tool to turn any of these into actual hats. So we can grab this, accessory, next, mesh part, yes, next, click on the dummy, we can click hat, it's already clicked, classic, next, next, and you're done. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete this, and then drag and drop this into the main character, and boom!
That's exactly what you're gonna get out of this. And so we can rename this now to Adora. And yeah, that's all there is to it.